Hi guys, so this is Tracy from WeCraft at Home and this is the first video of the new year so Happy New Year everyone um, I've decided I'm going to do some stamping cards so what we're going to do is uh, just a variety of simple stamping cards that are kind of generic for anyone um, yeah so we'll get going with that let's get going So I've already started on a few cards, um, just to uh, get us going. What I'll do is I'm, I'm going to talk through them mainly and then I'll show you a few tips that I've done. Uh, just to give you some ideas really, you don't really want to see me doing it all the time. So this one is just a little card, um, it's, excuse you have to forgive me, I've got another cold coming out. It's just a little one. Um, I got this from um, the unnamed dies that you can get and it came with uh, the stamp and the die to cut out the ladies and you get a few. Um, where did I put it and I'll show you the... So that's the stamp set you get. So there's a few ladies on there and a few sentiments. But I really liked it. I like this lady. Just she looks so carefree. So anyway, I'd, all I'd done very simply, I stamped her out in the grey rather than a black, so it's not as in your face. Um, with the Versafine, because if you colour in, that's the best one to use. And then um, just coloured the dress and her skin colour. Left the hat white. And all I'd done was with the same pen, went round roughly. I didn't want it to be smooth, straight lines. I wanted it to be a bit rustic. So I just went round roughly around the paper. There's, there is um, something I always say is never stamp directly onto the card. Always get a piece of paper that's a bit smaller and um, put it on there. If you put it straight on the card, um, and something goes wrong, that's a waste of a card. If something went wrong on the bit of paper, not as bad. It, but if you are going to stamp on a card, make sure you open it up because you need a flat surface. So anyway, that's just a, a simple idea. That all these cards are going to be very simple. That's just a simple idea for an easy to do card and She's stuck on pads because I had the die to cut her out, so it's very simple. <laughs> There's other sentiments on there. Life may not be the party we had hoped for, but while we're here, we might as well dance. I kind of liked that, but I used them anyway. So that's the first card. Very simple. It's a 5x5 five five card. And <laughs> this is a 6x6. Six six. Very bright, I know. So the sunflower is Chloe's stamps. Um, sorry, I did get all the stamps ready so that I could show you bit by bit. It's a very old one. I've had it for years. But as you can see, all I'd done was stamped around the edges. Again, another sheet of paper and I stamped around the edges and then just coloured in very um, loosely. I coloured in with um, Win Costella glitter pens and then this is a sentiment from Indigo Blue it says take the time to walk barefoot in the grass making daisy chains and believe in the beauty of your dreams well I thought with bright sunflowers we all need a bit brightening up at this time of the year and then I've done the same thing I well actually this one you can't see there but it's um, another sheet of paper and I just coloured the outside of the paper let's see if I can show you how far I went in I don't know if you can see I just coloured the outside of the other paper with the same pen it only goes in a little way <laughs> stuck that on top and then I edged it with the ink pad again I used grey um, just so that it stood up from the yellow and that's all I've done there. I mean, it's very simple. But I, I really like this. I think the sunflower looks lovely around the card. 
there is a smaller one as well but again a simple card nice and bright you can do it any colour really can't you um, with just a sentiment in the middle I chose that one because it kind of went with the bright and sunny sunflowers um, then I done a men's card now this one what I done I stuck this piece of card the card is from where did I get it? Oh, it was from a Kanban set of um, cards and acetate. Um, so I just stuck the card, well, before I stuck the card down, I stuck the acetate behind it so that the mess of sticking the acetate down is not shown. I used red liner tape, because red liner tape works better with acetate. And then actually on the brown card, I've put the car. This car, I can't remember. One of the downloads from either Create and Craft or Tattered Lay, something like that. And then this was um, another stamp. I haven't got the pack of stamps, but it was from Buzzcraft. Um, it's the people that now do splash crafts, but Buzzcraft. And again, it's really old, but I love the, the man. And I used just some metallic pencils um and then uh, just sepia ink for that and again i went round it with the same sepia ink it's so much easier to go round stuff with the same ink or pen that you're using um than to try and match another piece of card unless you're a stamping up fan because they give you all of that or well, i find it terribly expensive and that's the man He's um, an Art Deco man, but I just love the way he's standing. And what I've done, I snipped up his crotch, apologies to the man, and put these on 3D pads so it looked like the leg was standing more forward. But it's just a very simple card and a different way of doing a man's card because they're so, they are hard. We all know they are. And I just, you know, the acetate is just a kind of... Um, shabby look but it can pass for a man's card so it's very simple I didn't want to do anything else to it because I just thought you know for a man you don't need to go too far now for this one there was a um, stamps by me beautiful stamps Stamps by me, and it was a one of those where you just pay the postage and you get the stamp set free. And it's a really nice stamp set, really is. And I always wanted to try them because I loved the style of her stamps. And I even love the way she does them. So that's what I ended up with. I I just stamped that, and I watercolored with the Wink of Stella. Um. I think I just added a little ribbon to go in the middle and that's the happy birthday stamp on there which is lovely I love mixed fonts um, yeah I just stamped it straight on what I think though is um, what I might do I'm gonna do it now just so that I can show you something um, I want to stamp it again and just cut out these two flowers so that I can decoupage them and then I'll show you how I um, watercolored with the Winker Stella. So Excuse me, I do apologise. Seem to be getting a cold every other month at the minute. Okay, so just need to check if I use black or grey ink on this. Black. I sometimes prefer using grey because it's a just not so much in your face. I always use Versafine.
again you just tap um, you don't squash it in if you squash it in let me see if I can show you on there you see a stamp there are lines that stand up above everything else if you squash it in it's going to go on the stuff that's not up and that's when you get a blurry like a yeah like a a photo with splotches on and things like that so you just tap nicely all the way around always ink to stamp I don't know why I'm stamping it all because I only want the two flowers. Again, don't squash, just press firmly. If you squash, you're going to make the lines of the rubber move, and that's when you get a blurry line. It's a big stamp, so you do have to press all over. That's the only thing. That's what I like about these, they, they're movable. They bend a little bit, so they do give you a bit of extra oomph. Okay. Oh, excuse my noises. So I used the purple one. And all I'm going to do is put a bit on there. I don't need a lot. I've had that in water, still might be a bit too much, and then we're just going to mix it. And we'll start off by just brushing the colour in. Just going to get a little bit more water took too much off there <laughs> thing with watercolour in is you haven't got to be perfect <laughs> that's what I like about it oh Okay, I do need a bit more. can see I am not being extra careful or anything like that. <laughs> We're cutting it out so it doesn't matter if it goes over the lines. And then you've got to think about the darker spots like the shading so I'll just bring a bit more colour in and that's going to be where other leaves overlap just a little bit and obviously from there now you don't want too much obviously See, I'm not going crazy. <laughs> I 
him definitely what you would call I'm not what you call a colorist I just do my best and that's all we can do isn't it okay just gonna wash it a little bit because you can see I've done one leaf a bit darker than the rest so I'm just going to try and wash it out a bit there we go that's a bit better so I just need to do the centers which I've done in yellow I have no idea if that would be the right color but So that's all it takes. That, that's all I done. Um, you know, I know a lot of people are very scared of watercolouring or any colouring, and I understand that. But um, that's all it's taken, and then cut it out and decoupage it on top. That is literally all I done, and then I chose a um, a purple ink to print out the happy birthday and that's it I mean some very easy cards um, I wasn't expecting to be this quick I just didn't think you needed to see me make all the cards so um, I don't know what else to tell you really I, the only tip I would say is never do it straight onto a card always have it the, the um, topper a little bit smaller you see I've stamped the sentiment straight on here but I've made her higher um, because I want her to be the point of focus whereas on this one I stamped the flowers straight on and put the sentiment higher on pads because I want that to be the focus so that's the only thing you really need to worry about on this I've done, again, I've done the sentiment on pads. I don't know if you can see. There we go. I've done the sentiment on pads. And then I'm going to do just these two flowers as decoupage. Um, so th there's kind of two points of interest on that one. And the men's card. Obviously the man is the main point of interest. With the sentiment. The sentiment is stuck straight down. The man is mainly stuck down with the leg out, but he kind of comes up above the rest anyway, before you see the car. So the car's in the background. You can add more, I guess. Um, originally, I was going to add a skyline, but I think I like it just like this. I, very simple and definitely for a man. Um, the other thing I was going to do another man's card was just put this around the edges same as the sunflower but do this with a man sentiment in the middle um, and then what I thought I'd show you uh, lace is always a difficult one but indigo blue have a few lace stamps just trying to find them and what I've done I've done it on acetate with stays on. Stays on ink is tell I'm in a mess. <laughs> stays on ink there. It's a solvent based ink and it will stamp on acetate very well. I love this one. And then you haven't got to worry about cutting all the little bits out and cutting everything out. Because if you just stick it straight on, you just do a square, stick it straight on, it's see-through anyway. And you can't see where the um, acetate finishes. So that it's a really easy way to put what looks like a lovely bit of lace on the top or bottom of a card. Maybe um, with a border across so it sticks down better <laughs> but I just wanted to show you that in case uh, nobody had realised that mm. there's one of them that um, 
Oh, I didn't stamp that lace out. So that's uh, the five ideas. I hope they've been helpful. I hope you don't mind that I didn't actually cut them out, or make them in front of you. I just thought it was an idea just to give you some tips and ideas of what to do. You can watercolour with anything really, as long as it's water based. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So have a go and see how you feel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week. Happy crafting.